I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 9th of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. And today we're in the beautiful little city of Talica, just north of Leon. And we came out here so we could do some filming and just show a different location around the country. We did a little bit of 360 filming today. We're about to go for a walk around the city. The sun is getting low, so we got some beautiful late afternoon light. And we're just going to do a walk and see what Talica has to offer. We're going to start in Central Park, but we're going to get to that right after we leave the church, right after the bump. So Tolica is the first city outside of Leon, is actually the nearest city to Leon. Uh, there's a lot of cities in the Leon zone and most people think of La Paz Centro as the main one close by, but Tolica is actually closer, uh, but to the north. So it's on the Chinandega Road. Tolica is famous in the area, not over a very large area, uh, for having a uh, parque aquatico or a water park. Uh, it's one of the very few places you can go and do slides and public pools and that kind of stuff. They do exist and there are some in Leon, uh, but Talika is a very small place with a fairly big one, so they're pretty well known for it. We're walking through Parque Central right now. This is the main park as there normally is, right next to uh, the church in town, which is where we started, which is just at the other side of the park. And as you normally find, there is fast food around. You can see a little bit. This park, you know, they vary a little bit in Leon. It's mostly a big open space with monuments. This one here is a lot of spots for for the kids, there's a playground, there's a lot of benches and a lot of people, which is a good sign uh, as to a healthy community. So there's, uh, we were walking around the park a little bit and there's a lot of people out uh, just enjoying the park. Uh, a lot of kids, a lot of families, it's nice. So we're walking down on the south side of Central Park and just walking down the street here, the street on the other side that we drove down to get here is uh, Main Street and this is uh, the first or the kind of the secondary street. So I've never actually been on this street, so we're just kind of walking and exploring as we go, which is always a little bit dangerous, but uh, we'll see what we find. What is are these? One thing I have to say, if you're gonna drive to Talika, oh, so here's an architecture we haven't seen before. Also a very old building, but. If you're going to drive into Talika, I highly recommend You'd be very, very wary that the streets have speed bumps in them. And I don't mean normal speed bumps. I mean ridiculously large speed bumps that even coming to a full stop, we bottomed out on. So it's uh, something to be aware of that the main street at least uh, is pretty aggressive in its bumps. Okay, I'm going to show some stuff here as we walk by. The sun's pretty low, so I got to be careful where I point the camera. But this building, the style here in Talika already hits me as being a little bit like the Old West. We have some, what are these? Some interesting architecture and some like the big, the big saloon or hotel building or whatever. Now this place, it's gotta be a business. It's gotta be something official. Yeah, uh, that is, I believe that's the FSLN offices. Uh, it's, or it's just the, oh, it's just the Alcadia. Oh, that's nice. I mean, this is a very small city. You don't need a big government office, but that is the... See, it's the Alcadia. Okay. See, see. Oh, we have a little bit of shade here so we can show the street and the chickens. <laughs> a lot of chickens in this particular part of the street. Buenas tardes. What hit me? <laughs> All right, we're making our way through town pretty quickly. Not a big place. This is definitely not a tourist location. That we're here walking around and filming is definitely getting attention. Uh, as it would when I've, whenever I filmed an El Viejo up north there is no tourist traffic and so they're always very surprised like why are you here what are you doing what would bring you to this place oh 
Wow, some neat colors down there. It's a nice house on the left. We've got a big wall that we're walking past on my side here. One of the advantages to the smaller cities like Talika is that, so you're still in many cases now, of course, I don't know where any of these are, uh, but like we've shown a number of these uh, housing developments in the last few episodes, and a lot of those exist in these smaller cities as well. Of course, they'll be smaller, they'll be farther out, uh, but they, they generally exist, not always. And uh, if it's something that you're looking for, it can be a different lifestyle, right? If you want a city that's large enough that you have a lot of resources, but smaller and easier to deal with, uh, these can be pretty good. Like the traffic here is non-existent, right? There is just nothing. I can walk anywhere in the streets, but it's a city. So there's, you know, grocery stores and, and shops and restaurants. Not very many, of course, very few, uh, but they do exist. So depending on the balance of things that you're looking for, uh, it's possible to consider these towns. And if you want to get away and, and really not be surrounded by extra heroes and never have to worry about running into tourists these kinds of towns are going to be perfect um, and of course or maybe not of course but but it should be noted that they are generally more cost effective than uh, the bigger cities right if you're in a Leon or a Granada or a Chinadega there's simply uh, a price addition that you have to pay for the luxury of getting to be by where there are jobs. Um, out here, there's many fewer uh, available jobs, and so the cost of living is lower. Um, if you are an expat or a digital nomad, especially, and you have outside income, then a town like this will be more beneficial to you, and that is what primarily keeps uh, Nicaraguans from swarming into these towns, even though they're cheaper. Uh, they need to commute to where the jobs are, of course, um, but also there's more resources in the big city. You will feel for sure the lack of resources in a place like Talika uh, because Right, there's no big, there's no La Colonia, there's no La Union, there's no, I don't believe there's a Maxi Poly. Um, I'm not sure there's even a normal Poly. This is the discotheque. I have a feeling it's not currently the discotheque. I think it's just a house down, they left the sign up. But that's very interesting. It's the Antes. That was a neat place for a discotheque. Hard to imagine who was going. That's interesante. <laughs> so this is the main street that we're on now. And a neat large house over there. Okay, now we were pointing the other direction so I can keep the camera forward so you can actually see more of town as we walk and less of me. One of the things you really do notice very quickly in Talika is many fewer businesses just in general if this is Leon these would be much more tightly packed streets full of businesses and here the businesses are much fewer and far between of course you still have your your uh, pulperias um, I know we checked the map and there are there's several restaurants downtown there's local restaurants there's pizza restaurants there's a few different options beyond the fast food on the street uh, but they are not plentiful so you would really want to be very sure that you had sources of food that you were happy with if you wanted to live uh, in a town like this. You could easily end up being just overly limited and then sorry that you just didn't have the, the broad selection that you had been hoping for uh, in other places. Because even, I can tell you for certain, even living in Leon and Granada, uh, we often found ourselves wishing that there was a broader selection of food in many cases uh, it can be it can be a bit much coming from uh, countries like the United States and Canada where food variety is very large in general by the way this is the statue of Sandino here on the on the corner as you see all over the country I'm gonna walk over to the street if I can ever get over there big-time traffic here This is a small farm in the middle of the city. This is the very, very middle of the city. And I'm gonna turn this behind me so you can see. This is the Nake Tamale vendor coming down the street. We've got the power gym over there next to this incredibly modern Mercedes truck. <laughs> 
I didn't mean to come down this road, but it looked interesting. Now I'm now I'm stuck. Now I now I'm invested. This is cute. Very... Buenas tardes. Definitely does not give you like a city feel. Uh, in the U.S., you would you would feel much more like a village. And this is a very small, as a subsistence city. Oh, here's your puppy. As a subsistence city of Leon, uh, this is one of the smaller ones, and it is just outside Leon. Voy a regresar. And because of that, uh, because it's small, it has very few resources. But also because it's so close to Leon uh, and on the road to Chinandega, uh, I think an awful lot of people, when you're looking for uh, a larger store, you're looking for a grocery store, you're looking for a restaurant or whatever, uh, they may take the time to simply go to Leon. Uh, it's only maybe 30 minutes, maybe less, maybe 20 minutes uh, to do so. And so that can be, and if you have a car and you don't want to go out to eat that often, you, you want to cook at home, you want to grow your own food, Food, then it, it may not be any kind of problem and and this could be a great option right obviously uh, in these kinds of towns crime is extremely low uh, now the uh, a thing to be very aware of and as we begin to explore the country and do more and more of going farther afield uh, in our wanderings which I hope to do very quickly uh, one of the things that's going to be important to remember is we're going to be exploring and this is this one is an example parts of the country that do not have tourists and do not have foreigners so we're going to get an awful lot of looks with cameras and me being obviously not from nicaragua walking the streets that doesn't mean that there's danger but it can mean that it can be uncomfortable. If you're not someone who's going to be comfortable with that, simply with drawing that much attention, that's gonna be a, a potential deal breaker in a smaller town like this. Same thing that would happen if you moved to a small town in rural America, right? And you were from some completely different place and you stood out on the street as being from a different place, people will be very surprised to see you. Um, it's not that they will necessarily be mean to you or anything, but it's going to be difficult for you to ever blend in in any way whatsoever. In Leon, that is difficult enough for me. Uh, here, it would be extreme. Um, that also means that if you live here full time, visiting, no problem. Right, very few people are going to be affected in some negative way during the amount of time that they would just be visiting a place like we are today. Even if you were coming in for a restaurant or going to see what the local attractions are, going to the aquatic park, great. If you lived here, you would have uh, the same problem that we have in Leon, but exacerbated many times. And that is that every single person in the city will know who you are, where you are, at all times you'll never be able to blend in you'll never be able to hide and everyone in town who wants to talk to you who wants to know what's going on in your life who has any interest in you whatsoever will always have access to that information always from all people and that can be not necessarily problematic but a lot of people will not handle that well you will be very much on display all of the time and you will you will feel it right it's living in leon we feel it a lot we walk down the street and people yell at us from cars people when we go into a bar there's always people that we know uh, that kind of behavior is just how it is and we're in one of the largest cities so going to one of the smallest cities um, easily easily a hundred times worse uh, for the same uh, problems now i do want to point out as we get closer I did not see these as we drove by. We did a drive warp coming by here. I'm gonna stop for a second and show some businesses here. So there is a Chinese food restaurant right here. There are very few of these in the country in general. Like I'm not saying that there aren't Chinese restaurants, but they aren't like in the US where they're near, they just aren't as common as they are in the US. So finding one in this really small town is really surprising. And that says it's a super mini cafe next to it, which implies it is a mini market that does coffee. There's also a little pulperia on the corner. It seems a little bit bigger than an average pulperia. That is interesting on its own. But that there's a Chinese restaurant here is really, really surprising. And I'm hoping we're going to pop in there because I want to know what they have. Because in Leon, we have about 
four, I think, that we've managed to find. Some of them are constantly opening and closing. There's one or two that's been around, one that's been there since I was first there in 2015, but very few of them have vegetarian food, very few of them have a big selection, almost none have um, American-style Chinese, which you wouldn't expect, but sometimes you want. Uh, so, wow, we're gonna check that out. Um, that's exciting. We have one that we like in Madagalpa and one that we like in uh, in Managua, but that's how big of a distance we have to go to find stuff. And this place, uh, the sign is not out. We can see this is a pizza shop and they've got frappes, they got smoothies, which are called batidos here. So get used to that word, batidos is for your smoothies. And they've got pizza. This is a nice looking place right here. Or just in front of the park, I'm gonna turn the camera again. So that is the church that we started at. You can see it in the distance there. And uh, we're only maybe three blocks from Central Park. So this area does have a few food options. There's another pulperia. Buenas tardes. This is the bicycle shop here. <laughs> the pet food store. There's a little clothing shop, Variedades. Another word to know, Variedades, refers to any number of small stores, but often selling clothing. And here we are back at Central Park. I guess my, my three blocks was ambitious. It was a block and a half from Central Park to those restaurants. And then I believe from having looked at the map that there's more restaurants and stuff on the other side of Central Park, that from a distance, looks like it could be a restaurant or something down that street. It's hard to say. Like I said, not very many major businesses that you would want to use right in the middle of town, but they do exist. There are a few. And really, if you find the few places that you really like, oh, this is the communications office, this red and white Coca-Cola looking building that I'm walking past. That is the National Telecommunications Board or whatever they're called. And uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a cute little city. I'm glad we came out and went for a walk. It's a very nice afternoon, a little bit on the warm side, but nice to get out, see another place. We're gonna try, now that we have the car and we've got a small team assembling, we're gonna make a really big effort to get out and explore more of these little communities. Because let's face it, I mean, okay, so I really want some feedback from you guys. Get down in the comments, I wanna hear. Do you like this walking around of a new place? Do you like getting to see these small towns, these completely off the beaten path places? Is this a place you would wanna visit? Is this a place you would wanna consider living in? What kind of questions do you have for either of those scenarios? Central Park and the church here are really interesting. So, oh, I hadn't noticed this before. The road between the park and the church is pedestrian only, but it's the size of a normal road. All right, I'm just gonna show this side street over here. I've got a bicycle coming. I don't wanna get run over, so I gotta be careful. Got a cute yellow green building here on the corner. Oh no, there's a truck following me. All right. I just wanna see this house on the left. It looks really nice. Oh, the truck is turning around, okay. This is definitely a much larger, much fancier house here. Very nice. Here's Marcella who's been out doing photographs. Hola, Marcella. Si, sí, muy bonita. So get in the comments, tell me what you think of this this is a little bit different and i'm excited to be doing these <laughs> so please positive comments uh because this is this is a lot of fun for me i've been out going to a lot of places here's the church we're gonna walk past a little bit so you can see is this, this is actually a good-sized church right from the front it looks a little bit small but it's actually it's actually quite large and uh you know, we're, we're walking around Leon all the time and sometimes Managua. We have a few cities that we're hitting on a very regular basis. 
and it's you know it's very difficult to come out and do these this took all day of planning just to get out here uh, because i have the kids the dogs and work stuff and and getting the videos edited and uploaded all this stuff has to happen now we did on the day that i'm recording this we did go do some other recording this morning that made it much more complicated so just if this was the only thing we were doing it would be pretty easy uh but uh, we're constantly doing other types of videos and so get tied to one location or another because of that. Uh, but getting out and going to these alternative locations is a lot of fun. It's so much of, of this is real life in Nicaragua that that gets missed, right? And a huge percentage of Nicaraguans live in these size towns, right? Hola, buenas tardes. All right. I'm going to show the street here. I'm not going to walk down any further. We're going to make our way back to the park and we're going to call it a day as we walk along the church. But thanks for coming along. That was a fun walk, a little bit of exercise and uh, something different. So if you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at the link above, buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And if you're interested in more information, direct help, assistance, consulting, whatever, just some time on the phone or going out and searching for houses, whatever, Hit us up info at relocatenicaragua.com. And as always, share on social media. And I will see all of you lovely people who live in the little GoPro box that I carry with me wherever I go tomorrow.